Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot is going viral for its cool new hand. What is the fuss all about? Is this demo autonomous or teleoperated? And how does the upgrade stack against the competition? Let's take a look. The Tesla bot's official X account posted the 16 second clip on Thanksgiving. The hand's actuators are now in the forearm, mimicking human tendons for better functionality and realism. It's the actuators, the muscles of your hand are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the has the muscles that, that actually control your hand. Um, this, there's, a, there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet <laughs> and, the, and, and with cables. That, so the, the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm. Optimus engineer Milan Kovic posted a detailed explanation of the demo. He said the new hand and forearm double the dexterity compared to the Generation 2 Optimus, with 22 degrees of freedom on the hand and 3 on the wrist. The video of the Optimus robot playing catch with a tennis ball was made the prior night by a teleoperation in Tesla's lab. He said the demo gives the team confidence the new hand design can integrate with the next major iteration of the Optimus. Tesla engineers are working to integrate extended tactile sensing with more surface coverage. They're also refining fine tendon controls and reducing the forearm's weight. The Gen 3 hand was showcased during Tesla's Wii Robot event in October when the much-anticipated robot taxi was unveiled. The hand in the new demo is more refined, with layering that makes it look more human-like. Kovic said the big challenge now is balancing the squishiness of the protective layer on the fingers and palms without compromising tactile sensing. Tesla is emphasizing the hand's dexterity as it positions the Optimus as a general-purpose humanoid helper that can do virtually any task a human can. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. The current generation Tesla bot's hand has 11 degrees of freedom for performing basic manipulation tasks like picking up objects, sorting by color or shape, and using basic tools. Tesla has released footage of Optimus robots moving battery cells and doing light work at its Gigafactory. With enhanced dexterity, the Tesla bot could handle delicate assembly, fragile items, healthcare tasks, and maybe even play the guitar. A growing array of companies are racing to develop robotic hands that are uncannily human-like. Clone Robotics has introduced a hand design with 27 degrees of freedom, matching the dexterity of human hands. The startup, which operates out of the United States and Poland, says it's working toward synthetic humans. Clone's hand is designed for long-term, autonomous operation in complex environments. According to Clone, the hand is the result of eight years of research and development. It uses proprietary hydraulic muscles and force valves, making it 10 times stronger than other robotic hands. Shadow Robot Company's Dexterous Hand and OpenAI's Dactyl Hand have 24 degrees of freedom. Someday, the Tesla bot's hand could integrate with Neuralink's brain implant. 99% of the things that I can't do myself um, obviously need I need a caretaker for, someone to physically do things for me. If an Optimus robot could do that, like I could live an incredibly independent life and not be such a burden on those around me. Um, and that would, it would change the way people like me live, um, at least until whatever this is gets cured. That's Noland Arbaugh, the first person to receive a brain implant from Elon Musk's Neuralink talking with Lex Fridman about the possibility of using the brain-computer interface to control a robot. The podcast is from over the summer, but it looks like the quadriplegic's dreams of controlling robots via thought are starting to come true. He's a likely early adopter of mind-controllable robotics tech Neuralink is developing with its newly secured FDA approval. Imagine an Optimus robot just being able to hold a book open in front of me, like get that smell again. I might not be able to feel it at that point, um, or maybe I could again with the sensation and stuff, but being there's something different about reading like a physical book than staring at a screen or listening to an audiobook. I actually don't like audiobooks. I've listened to a ton of them at this point, but I don't really like them. A diving accident paralyzed Arbaugh from the shoulders down in 2016 when he was working as a summer camp counselor. The severe spinal cord injury left the Texas A&M student unable to move or feel most of his body below the neck. 
After the injury, Arbab became interested in emerging neurotechnologies. When Neuralink announced its human trials, he actively pursued participation and, in January 2024, became the first recipient. What can you do now with the chip implanted that you could not do prior? Um, I can control a computer just like anyone else can, which is not something I was able to do beforehand. He views this technology as a way to reconnect with the world and the people around him. Neuralink just announced it's seeking participants in its new convoy study that aims to extend the N1 brain implant's capabilities to control robotic components. Neuralink says the technology could help people with paralysis gain physical freedom through robotics. Musk has said Neuralink's could eventually integrate with Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot. I think an exciting possibility long term also is to say um, if you take parts of the Optimus, Optimus humanoid robot and you combine that with a Neuralink, let's say somebody has lost their arms or legs, uh, well, we, we could actually attach an Optimus arm or Optimus legs uh, and uh, do a Neuralink implant so that the, the motor commands from your brain that go, would go uh, to your, your biological arms now go to your robot arms or robot legs. Um, and again, you'd, you'd have basically cybernetic superpowers. Yeah, like I said, it's just kind of a cyberpunk Deus Ex in the future yeah. where you have cybernetic upgrades that are actually better than your biological uh, limbs. He said he hopes to have the devices implanted in hundreds of people in the next few years and millions in a decade. Yeah. Um, we're, we're talking about ultimately doing tens of millions of these things. Like maybe there's 8 billion people in the world. I don't know, maybe at least a few billion are going to want this, maybe more. Musk announced the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot during Tesla's 2021 AI Day. Interest in the Tesla bot reached new levels in October 2024 when a fleet of the humanoids played a prominent role at Tesla's We Robot event at Warner Brothers Studios. While critics pointed out that much of the robot's actions were via teleoperation, others praised it as a showcase of what the future holds. In November, Kim Kardashian became the first celebrity to apparently get an Optimus robot. She shared several pics and clips of her interacting with the Tesla bot, and interest in the humanoid surged. Heading into 2025, the Tesla bot is positioned as a likely status symbol. The robots will likely be pricey for the foreseeable future, but Elon Musk says they will become affordable as production is scaled. He said eventually the robots will likely cost between twenty dollars and $30,000 and will be able to perform basically any task a human can. Tesla plans to manufacture a limited number of Optimus robots in 2025 for use at its Gigafactory. Commercialization is planned for 2026, and Musk says he expects the robot to become Tesla's best-selling product when it's widely available. As the robot moves toward mass production, Tesla is focused on enhancing its autonomous capabilities and practical applications. Tesla's full self-driving software is integrated with the Tesla bot for environmental perception and decision-making. Though the robot's autonomy still relies on human assistance for complex scenarios, recent demos have shown advancements toward independence. What chores would you have an Optimus take off your hands? Let me know in the comments.